you know, it's a good thing that it's um, April, April 1st here. Um, we have some indoor football news. Yes, yes, CIF started their season, you know, last weekend. And it was uh, just a bunch of exhibition games. You know, Wyoming had a good show out. 4,100 people. Good job. Good job. Too bad we couldn't see the game, though. And too bad that they played it very close with the Dallas Prime, I believe. I believe that was the team that they played. Rather unfortunate there. Can't play close with teams like that. You're going to proclaim yourselves as, you know, a professional league. A professional team. Can't play close with teams like that. So, you know, there, there's that. Um, speaking of champions in dual football, what we've been knowing for the past few, past few days now, past few days, um, the Dodge City Law, you know, have resurfaced. And they are indeed, you know, we did not expect, we, I mean, I honestly did not expect this to happen. I I was like, oh, oh, okay, this is a thing now. This is a thing that's happening. And the last few days, in fact, I just saw these posts just now from the Dodge City Facebook page that they have indeed returned. They will take the place of the Oklahoma Flying Aces, who I believe they will sit out for 2021. They may come back. But this is indoor football, so the likelihood of them coming back is probably not going to be, you know, there. But yeah, Dodge City is back after, you know, leaving in 2017 from the CIF, and they have returned. They've taken Oklahoma's roster. I don't know about the ownership, though. I believe there's a new ownership group. Out there, Dodge City, they were supposed to be announced. You know, Dodge City was supposed to come back, apparently, in 2022. So, I don't know how that was going to work there. Uh, I honestly, you know, again, what my thoughts have been on the CIF the past few months has been they should have stayed at the six teams that they had instead of adding Wyoming and, and also you know, West Texas. I don't think those two teams should have been added right now. You know, maybe, you know, later down the line. You know, but I think, you know, the league should have stayed at six teams. Now, I mean, I mean, this season there's six teams. So, you know, it is what it is. But now it's all centralized, you know, in a tight little Wyoming, Nebraska, Kansas, you know, Iowa, you know, all tight and centralized in the Midwest. So, there's that. Explore the CIF. That's good for them. Meanwhile, in the AAL, meanwhile, San Antonio fans, things have gotten a little better. The field looked so much better this week for their game. I forgot who they played because of the AAL and that doesn't really matter. But the field for the San Antonio Gunslickers looks a lot better this time around. Some other teams debuted this week as well. Um, the Central Penn Chargers, I believe, the Pennsylvania Union, whichever one they're called. I don't know which team it was, but they're playing the Charlotte Thunder. You know, the one owned by Ted Ginn Jr. Um, that game was on Facebook Live, and it was a travesty to see a game on Facebook Live. Why should I be using Facebook to stream games? It's so disgusting. But whatever. Whatever. I'm not going to... I'm not going to bash the AL too much longer here because the Reading Raptors have left. And they said that there was a total lack of transparency with the AL. So, you know, things are looking pretty dire. You know, a dominant team. Of, I don't know which league Reading has gone to now. I believe it was like the MPIFL or something like that. I don't, I don't know what it's called that they went to. Or whatever, whatever league the Reading Raptors went to, good luck. Best, you know, good luck in your future endeavors, you know. And it's rather unfortunate, you know. A very solid team that the that the AAL has found themselves with, that they've squandered that opportunity, you know, to keep them in the league. So, you know, it is what it is, you know. Another day, 
of AAL shenanigans happens and it just continues to be, you know, weird. Continues to be weird for this league. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I believe. Yeah, so, you know, CIF and AAL mostly. Um, speaking also of fan control football, they finished their first season. I gotta say, you know, I'm not really impressed. Uh, you know, I'm not impressed at all with the gameplay, but everything else was weird too again I believe I've already said something about this already plenty of times but you know just to say it again the A I mean the factual football league you know and they're thinking of expanding as well I believe they're thinking of expanding to like six or eight teams you know and remember only one of those teams really only had an identity the first season I believe was the zappers or whatever or whichever team it was, I don't, I don't know. I don't really care about fan control football. That's, you know, it is what it is. Um, a lot of the homies, you know, on the Discord really seems like FCF, but I do not. So it is what it is there. Um, but hopefully, if the FCF can continue to prosper, you know, things will be. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hold up. There is one more thing. American indoor football is trying to come back. They're trying to come back. It's a, a an attempt to come back. It's an attempt to come back. I'm not sure if that's an April Fool's joke or anything like that, but they're trying to come back. That was reported a few days ago. They're trying to come back. I don't think that should happen because it it's all there's already too many. There's already too many leagues out here as is. And another one to dilute the product. Of indoor football has you know really I don't even know where this league would lie in because I mean it's a former league you know that ended you know a few years back so I, I don't know I don't know I don't know about this one but yeah that's pretty much it yeah yeah that, that's actually it this time um, got a couple weeks till the IFL kicks off, so that's going to be interesting to see, you know, how in the world they cram in, you know, f you know, a, a whole season in by September, which is, I don't know how they're going to do that, um, but we've seen that the CIF, you know, we've seen that the CIF has started in March, they got a little bit of a crowd, you know, going, things like that, so, you know, there's that. And um, maybe, you know, the IFL could push things back a little bit, you know, maybe push some games back to, to um, April, you know, push some of those back a little bit, but whatever. It is what it is. So, again, that's going to do it. See you guys later. And, yeah, I'll take care. Have a good day.